welcome back to a thread garden update life has been interesting and lots of fun and that explains why I've been away uh, just come back from Italy my husband and I had our 20th wedding anniversary this year so we celebrated kid free with two weeks in Italy and it was fabulous I was very happy to get back to the kids though uh, two weeks was long enough uh, also we've been renovating our house and if you ever renovated your house you know that your house is never your own you've always got builders dust dirt mud lots of tradies all over the house during the week and so it, it was pretty tricky to film but here I am back for a September update. It's actually the end of the month, so it's good to keep you updated. I have done some stitching since I posted last. I think that was June. So I have got pretty good progress. I've got a finish that I haven't shared anywhere. Um, so that's very exciting. I've nearly got another finish for a heaven and earth design, which I'm excited to share. And I've got my whips. So I'm just going to go through them one by one. All right. Um, so the finish is actually my very first Chatelaine. And now don't get don't get all excited and think I've completed this massive mandala because I haven't. I um, got a freebie Chatelaine a few years ago and I have been working on that so I put my head down and jolly well finished it it's called agaric if that's how you say it so basically it's little toadstools and here it's it here it is so this is uh, as I say a Chatelaine freebie I can't find it on their website anymore but um, Martina's constantly putting up new things new old things all the time so maybe she will re um, publish it at one point uh, it's on 32 count linen it's an antique gold I've stitched it in the recommended DMC's and then I well, there's a bit of a markup with a pattern and it called for petite Oh, sorry. What are the other beads called? I know there's meal here and there's another brand. I called for the other brand of beads. I can't think at the top of my head. I called for the other brands of beads, and but it had the meal here um, numbers or something. Anyway, it was just impossible to work out what she wanted. So basically, I just went to my local needle workshop, a stitch in time, and just got just got things from her stash, which were actually meal here, and bought some lovely um, emerald green beads larger beads to go in the corners and um, I used a cranic that wasn't called for um, that I stole out of my enchanted mermaid mirabilia kit just to um, add to these little eyelets the Algerian eyelet so I was pretty pleased um, I've done beading before I haven't done eyelets before so it was good to do that stitch so I was really pleased. Now I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm in two minds as to whether to frame it myself. I've got a new living room shelf and if I frame it, it, um, it will be small enough to fit into one of those shelves. Or whether I might make it into a hanging ornament. So I'm still in two minds about that. I've been away so I haven't and I finished it just before I went away so I am not 100% sure what I will do with it yet but I'll come up with something I did back stitch the toasters to make them stand out and pop a little bit in the stems weren't back stitched so I did that and I might even back stitch the other sides of them just to make them pop a bit but I'm very pleased with it it was a nice way um, to get into chatelaines I'm very keen on doing um, a mandala and I'm, after visiting Italy, I am definitely going to do Tuscany Town Mandala. So I'm looking at purchasing that pattern and all the products for that. I haven't kitted it or bought anything, but my um, it's definitely on my wish list. And something to start in 2017. And um, the other one I've got is a castle. 
Uh, so I'm going to start that in 2017. I've had that pattern for a while. Uh, and I've got a peacock freebie chatelaine that's a bit like black work and I love peacocks so I'm definitely going to start that so I'm very happy to have a finish knock down those whips right. so for anyone who's been on my channel for a long time you know I've been doing a heaven and earth design and this one's mini Alice and Snow White and I am pleased to say I've only got two pages left so here it is in all its glory I'm stitching it on 25 count even weave. It's the gridded, the magic guy gridding. It's not perfect coverage. Um, it's tent stitched, so it's two over one tent stitch. If you can see a bit of the backing in the black, um, but it still looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm pretty pleased with it. I am parking, so I'm just down here stitching the Cheshire Cat's eye. I stitched that yesterday. I'm hoping to get the column finished this afternoon. It's a nice rainy day in, in Tasmania. So I haven't got any reason to go outside and garden. My house is a mess, but anyway. It's school holidays, so I figure I'm allowed to have a holiday and stitch. So I'm hoping to do that this afternoon. I love this. I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. And it's great. My very first heaven and earth design is going to be finished probably by the summer, which is December, January, February this year. Alrighty, so I'm very pleased I've been working on something I started January the 1st, 2015. We're all heart pumped up for um, the Mirabilia sale. We're all starting our very own first Mirabilia. So I put three stitches in it or something and then haven't picked it up again until this year because I was working on the Prairie School Alphabet and that was my focus piece. So in the last few months since I finished the Prairie School Alphabet, I am pumped for the Enchanted Mermaid. Okay, so here's the Enchanted Mermaid and I am loving her. Full of blues, beads and krennics, which are all my favourite. My uh, blue is my favourite colour. Probably haven't said that before. So there she is. So I have stitched the her knees, her thighs, and I'm about to stitch this beautiful tail. Don't you just love those colours? Now I know none of the sparkles are going to show up, unfortunately, but she's very sparkly and very beautiful. So I'm very happy with her. She's great. Like, I find it hard not to stitch on her. You know how you have some projects you just can't put down? Well, this is definitely it. And Mirabilia's are always going to be my rot rotation. If you can call what I do a rotation, I'm not very good at that. I just do what I stitch. I stitch on whatever I want, really, whenever I feel like it. Now, another one from a long time ago that you may vaguely remember is Chores of Hawk Run Hollow. And I've been working on that as well since the School Alphabet. And I actually took Shores to Italy. So it's been a very lucky um, project to go to Italy. So this is it here. Now, I am modifying it completely. I've decided it's too massive for me to frame um, for my wall. So I've decided I'm going to make it into a cushion. It's just cool into a cushion so it's going to be a three by three block so what i'm going to do is i'm taking out my three least favorite blocks and i'm jiggling them around and stitching them so that means that the big central block i've moved across and that's this one here if you can see it all so i've missed off the fourth block which is along the top meant to be here and I've moved this block here, it was meant to be under these two, and so I moved across. And I'm going to stitch the moon that was up here, here, and then the bottom three are going to be my la my three favourite blocks. And I'm going to make it into a big pin, um, pin cushion, that'd be too small, a big cushion for my couch. So I'm very pleased with that. I'm doing it on 32 antique gold, which is the same fabric as the agaric chatelaine I just showed you at the start, my finish. And it's quite a nice linen. My local needle workshop stocks it. Um, it's not too expensive and it stitches beautifully. It's a lovely feel. I, um, But it is large and so maybe next time when I do Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow, which is I have the pattern for. I might actually do that on a 40 count and make it smaller so it's, it's easier to frame and find a space on the wall for it. 
so I'm pretty pleased with that. So it's had some lots of love and attention. I ran out of white, so I've got to go back and finish white in this house here. I'm um, doing it the recommended DMC. I didn't do the silks, and actually now it's going to be a cushion that is good because obviously a cushion's going to need washing. So, um, but I do love silks, um, but just at the time I just thought it was just too expensive. Now, what else have I been working on? I've given some bothy thread kits, um, some loving. So if you remember this one, it's called Kings and Queens, and I had finished this little guy here. I'm trying to work on this maybe every, at least once a month, you'd probably say. Um, often I do it on a Tuesday. I've got like this thing in my head, Royal Tuesday. So I would try, I always try and do it on a Tuesday. So here is what I'm up to. So I've done William the First, William the Conqueror. Um, and then I finished William the Second over the last few months. And then I've started on the third one, which is Henry the First. I did, and I'm useless at posting updates. I did the first post update, but I'm useless at posting updates on Facebook. But anyway, I did do the Olympic sale. And I had to stitch, stitch on something green. And I think I did some of this when I had to stitch something red. So I've been doing all my projects and fitting them into the Olympic sale, which was lots of fun. And I kept up. For all of this, all of the um, dates, which is awesome, but I just didn't post. I don't know why I don't. <laughs> anyway, um, but anyway, I did do that. I I'm not inspired to do the Stitch Mania election sow. Um, I'm in Australia, and I should be more interested in the U.S. election, but I'm not. So, I don't think I'll do that. Um, I'm interested in doing some of the Stitch Mania things next year. Particularly, I'm going to start a Teresa Wensler. And I am, and I'm sure there's a Teresa Wensler sale happening. Um, also, I'm going to do the Crazy January starts. Not sure how I'm going to do it. Um, whether I, I think probably I'll just do a new start every couple of days. I don't think I'm going to get a new start every single day because I always love big, big projects. So, <laughs> um, so no, I'm not going to do one every day. Um, I might start a Chatelaine on January the 1st. And I'm definitely going to start another Mirabilia. And then I've got a another Chatelaine to start haven't I because I've got the castle and Tuscany town so it gives me a few options watch the space a couple of my um, whips have become UFOs so I figure I'm allowed to have a few new starts to fill those gaps um, so do you remember the pirate ship it's a cut through pirate ship I started that I don't know, probably two years ago and I've been trying to work on it a bit more since I've finished the castle so, yeah, it is. Um, I didn't say the la the eighteen. This is eighteen count light blue Ada. Sorry, this is sixteen count light blue Ada. Can't it came with a kit and it's Madeira threads, and so I've stitched the most of the deck. I haven't finished the sail up here. But I finished most of the top deck. Um, I've got the rear of the ship, and I know there's a fancy term for it, a maritime term for it that I can't think of. Uh, I've got that to stitch, so I'm getting there. I've I finished one page, and now I'm on to this uh, next page across, and then I've got another page to finish up here, and then obviously I've got the whole of the bottom and a, a bit of the sail up the top to do. The Kings and Queens, I didn't tell you that. That's a 14 count, so it's a bit bigger. It's, um, it, it was a kit, same thing. Kit, fabric, kit, thread. The bothy threads, they, they look pretty good on the Ada. Um, I managed to actually frame the castle. The bothy threads cut through castle, which I'm really thrilled about. So I have to put that in the video. I should have got it out and brought it to the room and shown you. And that looks fabulous on the Ada. 
so I'm very pleased. Now, next is a new start. Pyrex Stitcher and I, and I get to meet Pyrex Stitcher, as well as um, Vintage Chic Stitcher, Joanna, um, at the Mirabilia Retreat next year in New South Wales. That's early May, so I'm very excited about that. So, Pyrex Stitcher and I are not studying Mirabilia. For some reason, we're studying lavender and lace together, and we started this July the 1st, Christmas. It was a, a sort of a Christmas in July sale. So here she is, that's what she looks like. And I've been stitching on this a bit. Um, I did a bit during the Olympic um, sale, um, but here she is. So Pyrex Stitches started the lady and I've started up the top. So we look like we're stitching completely different projects, but um, so if you see, she's got a lovely band um, of these beautiful Celtic kind of symbols and motifs. Well, I've only done two colours, red and green at the minute, but it's looking lovely. Um, this is a beautiful, soft um, linen. Oh, I'll have to hunt out what it is. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's just so soft. So, the linens are Perman linen. linen. 28 count antique gold another antique gold but it's permanent linen and it's a larger count 28 count and um, I do really love it it's exactly what I wanted for it and it's showing up pretty well on the computer so I'm very happy about that well, this lost my needle I don't use needle mind as much I'm hopeless like that too but anyway it's all right you don't bend everything do you so now, do you remember this project? This is um, probably my longest whip. A friend gave it to me and I can continued it. It's called Promises Kept. This is a terrible bag, but it's the only photo I've got. Promises Kept. It's Gold Dimensions kit and um, I've been stitching it for ages. So I've worked on a bit more of that. Can actually, I've actually got the whole border now. So I've almost finished the animals down the bottom. The annoying thing about the kit is that I've run out of threads. So, and I have to go to the shop and I have to try and match up something for the elephant because I have run out completely. So, this is an 18 count Ada. It's a beige Ada with kit threads. Um, look at all the animals on the outside. So they, in theory, would be really lovely, but I'm not going to stitch them. I've decided, I'm just going to make this into a cushion as well. I've decided just to leave it like that. Um, I've run out of threads and um, I can't be bothered trying to match the colours. I don't, I love this, but, but at the same time, it's, it's all right. So I'll just finish it and tick it off and put it off because it's a whip that's sort of dragging me down. I don't know if you have whips like that. Anyway, and it's not really for anything. I I don't know what I th think. Probably I'll just make it a cushion. It'll be a really nice cushion. Um, on the couch near the shores of, Hawk, Hawk, of Hawk Run Hollow. Um, the Ark meets Hawk Run Hollow. I like that. Um, so, I've got this other new project. I might have shown you when I bought it. Uh, but I haven't shown you much progress, I don't think. And I just wonder, oh, here it is. I am a massive gardener. I love gardening. And foxgloves are my favourite, favourite, favourite flower. And I always make sure I have lots of foxgloves in my garden. I love the pink ones, but I love the white ones as equally. So I found this on eBay. It's um, Do It and Water Designs. I, it did come with fabric, Ada, which I didn't like. And I found this beautiful sugar it's um, sugar and spice it was the Australian um, hand dyed fabric company that just recently closed so I like I found this I had this beautiful fabric um, I'd bought it at my local needle workshop um, this is called marbled winter it was it's sugar and spice or something like that anyway it was a beautiful company but unfortunately they're not around anymore so I'm stitching the fox gloves on there and here's my progress I've just started at the very top of one of the fox gloves but it is really really pretty it's really pretty on this fabric isn't it so that's another whip um, 
that's probably all my whips. So now I'm going to show you something new I bought. One minute. Okie dokie. So, oh, look, I've bought a lot this last year and I haven't shared with you. I'm really sorry. So I'm hoping by getting back into videoing, I can start sharing with you some of the beautiful things I've bought. Um, I won't be able to buy much from now on um, for a little while while we pay off the reno and our beautiful trip. Um, I'm on a stash diet, but that's okay. Um, I've got lots of the beautiful things to stitch. Oh, except the Chatelaine. That doesn't count, does it? Tusking Town. It's a must. So I have to buy that. So I was lucky enough to find this on eBay. It's Ink Circles and it's called Rosetta. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Um, it's just the monochromatic design. It's the beautiful circles. It's awesome, isn't it? Um, this came with a 40 count espresso RPR linen so it came with the linen and the threads and it's a Gloriana yeah, you can see the color Gloriana silk and I'll tell you the color cranberry so it's going to be gorgeous isn't it all right, and the other thing I found was um, another Ink Circles pattern. I haven't done any Ink Circles, and Ali's Stitching Studio has some beautiful patterns. I wanted, really want to do the Ink Circles Kaleidoscope that she's got, and um, um, I'm just trying to think, Ali Bella, sorry. Oh. Bella Stitch. Oh, what's her first name? Anyway, it's blank um <laughs> you know who i mean the show the background holo lady <laughs> um long dead samplers the lady with all those beautiful beautiful projects oh it's bella stitch but she's got an a a for her first name anyway i can't remember um she j just with some of her beautiful silk work on 40 cow She's just, um, it's just gorgeous. Just, it's totally inspired me to buy these patterns. So this one's set to sir. So ink circle set to sir. Now this one, unfortunately, didn't come with a linen or the threads, but I will find something a bit absolutely beautiful. I'm sure. So that's probably all I have for you today. My internet is terrible. Um, but good news that will change in the new year as we get connected to a fast speed. Um, so I'll have to leave it here otherwise it will never upload in a million years but it's good to be back and I'm hoping I'll um, be back a lot more frequently now that the big things have happened and I love watching you all um, a big shout out to Ms. Oso oh Crafty I really love your projects and Ali Stitching Studio and um, a big shout out to to my friend Tipsy Stitcher who's always got some beautiful projects coming up and um, I'd love um, I love watching you all I spend many an evening stitching and watching Frosty and it makes me happy so I hope you have a great couple of weeks um, I'm hoping to post a video on my Prairie Schooler alphabet I haven't done that but now I've got a new phone maybe it's going to be a lot easier Anyway, take care and I hope you have some great stitching time in the next few weeks. Bye.